Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What to do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry that my voice seems a little weird. Uh, I'm thinking I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'll, I'll be I'll get straight. Either way, today I want to talk to you guys about blackout. Now, uh, are, there we've been waiting on a lot of different things. We haven't gotten a new game mode, as in like you know, um, like quick collapse and stuff like that. And we've seen three of those in the beta, but we uh, excuse me, pardon me. Um. I haven't seen any of that inside of the game yet, except for the Blightfather events. So, last night, Treyarch was very active, and they uh, they gave us a lot of information based on what's to come inside of the next coming weeks, and, you know, over a period of time in general. So, uh, he says that they're still adjusting and reworking the audio in Blackout to ensure that all the audio matches and syncs up. Now, if you guys... Uh, saw my everything wrong with blackout video you know that was one of my big things was there uh, the audio was just terrible like there's sometimes where people will be right on top of you and you won't even like you, it sounds like they're far away like what I'm more referring to vehicles than anything else it's very hard to differentiate like where people are also you know above and below you like that's that's really hard to like kind of make out so with all that being said uh you know, it, 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 I'm glad that they're addressing this and that they're going to be fixing this soon. They're also looking to bring to bring weapon camos. Now, I was going to make a video on this, but I really don't feel like it's uh, you know very important. I feel like the game is at a point where, or the gaming community is at a point where you know we want to see weapon camos. The regular old humdrum of uh, you know just regular weapon skins and stuff like that. It gets boring. I'm just hoping kind of our multiplayer ones transfer over. I think that'd be cool. Um, but if not, you know, I, re I really hope they come up with some pretty nice ones. Um, ones that speak to the Call of Duty community and different people, kind of like Fortnite skins do. I think that would be very interesting to see. Uh, they're going to be adding more echelon levels to Blackout. So you guys will be earning, or we will all be earning more more skins that come from our level. I, I know that what I thought was that maybe every operation... They'd reset you back to one. You'd have to grind up to 80. That seems like a cool idea. It's still kind of, we, we can only speculate on that. I think that could be a possibility of what they do, kind of like the Fortnite Battle Pass type tier system, but just for Blackout. Um, you know, there's no way for that to be known, but hopefully, hopefully that's the way they go about it because that's what I think should be done. You know, it adds freshness to the game. It also adds people, get, giving people a reason to grind. Uh, and it also makes people like, uh, like like the fact that you'll be able to get new skins every season would be pretty cool uh, instead of just like uh, people getting the same skins every time. I think there should be like a you know a reason to grind so you guys know like oh this is the skin I want I need to make sure I get this done you know what I mean I think that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> Aside from that, uh, he says uh, in response to where the map updates are, he says it is happening and he's played on them. He just said he cannot say yet when those will be live in the game. Now, that's a good sign. That can mean that we would get some new stuff either, you know, around this month, next month. You know, development is a long process, but the fact that he's actually played on it, he's experienced it, and, you know, it's in that stage of the game, that's pretty awesome. Now, the last thing that he talks about is in regards of armor. Now, my thing was, is I remember being shocked because when I first picked up the Ajax armor plates, I thought that that was how you redo your armor because the day before the game dropped, they said that there was going to be a new feature in Blackout to where you were able to pick up broken armor fragments and apply it to your armor to refresh your armor. Now, this is a big thing. This is a really, this is a game-changing type of thing. So they have to ease this in there because of the, the idea that I would be able to not only, it takes away a slot from my armor, uh, for uh, from my inventory, so that's a, one less throwable I can have. But it also allows me to repair my armor. No matter what type of armor I have, it allows me to repair my armor seamlessly on the fly, really affecting a lot of gunfights and how they play out. That's a big deal. That is a very big deal. It means a lot less armor is going wasted. It also means a lot more people would still have beefed up level 3 armor. Now, unless they took that, like if you have repaired armor, the stats go down a little bit. I think that's going to be the way, it but they have to do this delicately. Otherwise, they risk pissing off the whole Blackout community and potentially ruining uh, Blackout for a lot of people. So, 
this is all the news that we got today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did you guys know what to do leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell joining up on the unbearable and making sure that you guys get notified on every single upload that i do thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace